was on my own bringing up my son. I had my son uh, when I was 29, brought him up on my own. The best part of his life, he's 21. Out to work, it was a struggle, because obviously I was on benefits. There wasn't, we couldn't have this, couldn't have that. If you went on school trips, sometimes my parents, my mum had to pay because I didn't have the money. Um, but you've got to struggle when you've got a child. You've got, you've got to do these things for, for your children to have a better life. So then I decided I needed to go to work. I attended an event in Bedwelty Park. Um, while I was there, I spoke to a lady from Communities for Work and she asked me was I working. I said no, because I had my son. And couldn't go to work because my parents wasn't living close. So she advised me to, I gave her my number, she advised me then to contact Communities for Work and they could see about getting me back into work. And if I want, what kind of work I wanted to do and what kind of work I was available to do. I had a phone call of um, a lady from Communities for Work. She then put me in touch with my mentor for Communities for Work. And then when I had my meeting, we was discussing oh. what road I wanted to go down. I'd rather do nights, they say to me, oh, well, why would you do nights? I said, why would you do days? We discussed what I wanted to do work-wise, what I'd done in the past. I explained about yeah, bringing my son up. And then she said the perf about putting me in touch with the mentor. Um, and that mentor would basically be able to get me into work to see what kind of if I needed any retraining, if I needed to do any interviews, if I needed to do anything at all to get me into the work situation. While I was with my mentor, she discussed ways of me getting back into work and one of the ways she discussed me going back into work was doing some volunteering work, which I jumped at straight away. Obviously there were some obstacles in place because I don't drive. So we worked out, there was a placement coming up in Prince Charles Hospital and I was like, well yeah I'd love it, but I can't get there. So what my mentor did then was made some phone calls and arranged for me to have my travel paid for on a weekly basis, which was able for me to get from Tradiga to Mirtha to work, volunteer for 12 weeks, which I absolutely thoroughly enjoyed. And if it wasn't for communities to work, I wouldn't be able to do it. And that, doing that through communities to work, made me want to get into paid work more than I wanted to before, because obviously I was bringing up my son. But the volunteer work was my first rung on the ladder. And then I just worked my way up and worked my way up. The best thing, best thing I ever done was come off benefits, and I will never ever go on benefits again. Now that I've tasted what it's like to have a weekly wage coming in the house, it's really surprising how, by meeting a, a single person in Badwaldi Park, has changed my life dramatically. <clears throat> the lady from Communities for Work, she got me on the first step of the ladder. Then after meeting my mentor, I bettered myself because obviously she pointed me in the direction of the volunteer work. I had two lots of volunteer work and thoroughly enjoyed both of them. I then said to myself and my mentor, I need work whereas I can get an income coming into my house because I, I didn't have any income. I was on benefits for too many years and it's not nice. It's not nice being on benefits. You can't give your children what they want. You, you can't buy this, you can't buy that. You, you see kids coming home from school, such and such has got this, I haven't got it. You can't do it. You rely on your parents. I couldn't rely on my parents. My mum was older at the time. And I just wanted to give my son a better life. By being in work, full time, fully employed, I've done that. We can go on holidays together. I haven't got to worry about going out shopping. Have I got enough money? I have stuff back. I can buy what I want, when I want. I can treat my son when I want. I can go away when I want, and I am going to rely on nobody but me. And having money in the bank, to me, 
is all the happiness I need and to see my son happy. That's, that's it, that's my life, life complete. I've got a job, we are financially better off. We've just booked our second holiday in, in two years and we literally can't wait. It's like five weeks time and it's gonna be the best time ever because I'll be spending it with my son and I paid for it with me and my son. And it's just really, really nice to know that we can pay for a holiday, go on a holiday now, whereas before it was a couple of days here, a couple of days there. Now we're doing what we want to do when we want to do it.